Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. Our guest is Xinhui Wang. He's the head of standardization and vice president of ZTE Corporation. Hello, thanks for your time. Hello, thank you for having me. Tell me, what do you bring to the summit today here in Geneva? Oh, you know, actually, I'm a, I would say, frequent attendee of this uh, great event. We have been involved into AI for Good virtually over the last three years due to the COVID. But this year, it's really exciting. We can be here with our friends, with all the you know, stakeholders around the world, all these AI things together physically in this great you know, convention center. That's good to me. And we just have a huge team participating in this event with some showcase, with some technology to deliver with the whole world. And we'll be participating in some of the seminars, uh, deliver our views on how to, we say, uh, uh, how to you know, harness the AI capability to further help the involvement and the development of this digitalization. Okay, yeah. so that said, how important is it to have a platform like this summit uh, for the dialogue of mm. AI going forward? I would say, yeah, this is, I would say, I love this question. You know, for instance, uh, to me, it is a must. We have, we have to have an international platform to collect the views from different stakeholders around the world to make sure the AI is well developed and AI is working on the right direction. The direction means it has to do something to benefit the human beings instead of doing something in the opposite. So this really means mat really matters a lot to me. Yeah. Now we spoke earlier about the sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm. um, how can AI be used to address specific challenges such as poverty, hunger, education and so on? I would say in general, we have 17 goals of the sustainable development, I would say, uh, architecture. Almost every single goal can be assisted by AI. For instance, if we take example for the, the number one, it's a uh, poverty thing. And normally, we got more food, we can just eliminate or do some, you know, poverty elevation, something like this. So in this case, if AI could be assisted to do some agricultural things, make agriculture from conventional thing to a modernized thing. And in this way, we got more, you say, more production, more food to survive the people. And then this is quite straightforward way we can look at how AI could help us to achieve these sustainable goals. Yeah. Okay, so those are specific things. What yeah. about economic growth? I would say just even broader views, how can you know AI do something? For instance, we just looking at this economic field and we have quite advanced infrastructure thanks to the ICT development over the past years. And then uh, with assisted ICT infrastructure, we can have a, that look like we have a much more powerful infrastructure with some, I would say, much more advanced capabilities. It's no longer a, just a faster data rate, shorter latency, beyond that. We will have a intelligence supported by AI technology, which makes, I would say, more efficient product in you know, production. And we can make more sophisticated ideas to how to design, how to implement our products. With this, I would say, fantastic products, we can facilitate the, the, the global economic growth. This is, I would say, in my, what I'm thinking in my mind, yeah. Now, something I know you're very keen to talk about is the, the, the challenges of AI, mm -hmm. and in particular, um, how the different countries around the world are dealing with mm. the guidelines, for example. Tell mm. me about that. You know, uh, you know. T typically, we have a couple questions on the table to be to be figured out if we're going to keep, you know, keep uh, just pushing AI forward. That's for sure. We got to do a much more advanced AI things, and we got to make these AI things much more affordable. That's for sure. But I would say, on top of this, is regulation and policy. How could we have a joint international, I uh, would say, force to make sure AI is working or right direction, which is beneficial to human beings, not doing something instead. So in this case, regulation and policy with global consensus is a must. It is top one priority, at least to me. Sure. Some of the contributors that we've spoken to have said that there needs to be education first before there are these guidelines. Mm. What do you think about that? You see, I would say radically that's true. You do some education, you know something, and you can improve your capability, you can do some contribution to the whole world, that's for sure. But you know, consider, we, 
the whole world is pretty much a different stage of the development, especially all these AI things. So in this case, we just cannot stop, just hit a pause to the whole world, saying, no, we got to wait for the other guys. In this case, we, have, we, we can do something like more active ways. For instance, some, I would say, much more advanced economics, they have this capability, they have this, I would say, uh, experiences, they have this technology. They can do a little bit, I would say, advanced trial or preliminary efforts to explore how could AI do something good for human beings. And with this experience, we can show this to the other part of the world, let them know the power of good example. And then they can keep improving, keep learning, and finally, they can help us to have a globally, yes, uh, harmonized contribution. Xin Wang, thank you so much for your time and your insights. More to come on the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. Mm -hmm.